the other <laughs> question people wanted to know too is would you know would we ever do a show together? And I want to know would you ever move to New York City and do a show with me? Because I picture a show that's like multimedia. That's you. Like let's say we said yes. Okay, what would the ideal show look like? That would be us and I don't know. Do we want other people? Do we not? Yeah, yeah man. Like, I, mean, I think that just our con- like. I've always enjoyed just going to bars with you because people look around the bars and like the bartenders, the servers, everyone's always looking at us because they're like, those guys are having a great conversation, you know? (laughs) Because we always look like we're having fun, we're like being animated, we're always laughing, giggling, you know? And I just, I just think that us just talking would be a great thing. I mean, what's to say, you know, a bottle and a, a bottle and the two of us couldn't make a killer show. (laughs) Would you have a third person? Like, do you think we would be a good show? Because I do think Kane was an awesome, like, I always thought of it as he really served it up, and then we always hit back. Yeah. Like, we, he was always the pitcher, and we were the hitters. Like, and we would just hit home runs fairly consecutively. Yeah. Consecutively. So, I don't know. Do you think we could do that without the, the pitcher? I like the, tri- pitcher? I like the trio, and I think one of the greatest things about the Kane show was we had, you know, at, at a point we had three different people and three completely different ends of the spectrum. Different lives. You know, yeah, different yeah. lives. And so, honestly, my life hasn't changed much since I was 20. Thank God for that because my friends, how they've aged, I feel so bad for them. <laughs> Are they looking rough? They look rough. They're like married. They hate their lives. They hate their jobs. The marriage is a tough one. Yeah, the marriage that's... is a tough one. People seem like they're either all in and it works well or they're having major regrets. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I'd definitely like to, you know. Do you think the show would work in New York the way it did here? I don't know. I don't know if those New Yorkers are as nice to us as the Washington D.C. folk were. The, the, the Washingtonians were really nice. So I, I do think I know that's the thing is I think the city is amazing. I love this city. Yeah, it, it was incredibly good to us. The people are so smart that listened. I think New Yorkers are super smart. I actually think we could do it. I, I do think we need another slice of the pie. Yeah. But, do you think shows are compelling? Like we are? got the lemon meringue here. You know, I'm your chocolate cream. We need something, oh, honey, we need something than... way off. We need like a Dulce de Leche or something shit like oh, that. Oh, you are you know? the Dulce de Leche. All right, Leche. fine. I'll do that. I can be that. We need apple pie. Yeah, okay. Maybe a square, a slice of apple pie with a little vanilla ice cream on top. That kind of parlays to everybody wants to know what we're doing now. So like, what are you doing now? Where are you at? Um, full time. Um, <laughs> if you've been following my Twitter. <laughs> full time uh, Bonnie or Ash. That's my band. Luckily, <laughs> I brought props. <laughs> The question people want to know, though, is, dude, how are you making money? How are you able to... Well, because... Not, how are you supporting yourself? That's what I, that's a question. Because, you know, we're making good tunes. We play some good shows. We're always, you know, we produce a lot of music for other artists. We're writing a lot of songs for different people. And is that where you make your money? Because, like, if somebody else buys a song? Yeah, man, we're trying to, you know, we're definitely... It's The thing is, a lot of people don't understand that it's one of those businesses that... Just like in, in radio, I interned for, what, nine months before I ever got paid a dime. You know? Yeah. So right now, I'm kind of doing my internship in the music industry. Am I making billions? Hell no. Because otherwise, (laughs) I would have given Sarah the middle finger when she has to do this interview. But I uh, am definitely getting through. I mean, I made a lot of great strides. I've definitely done a lot of good things. I mean, we got to be... We got to, like, open up for Sean Paul. I got to play venues like the 930 Club, the Fillmore. You know, we've got to work with a bunch of great artists. Like, I got Juvenile on my mixtape. That's pretty damn awesome. Back that ass up. woo woo. And so, yeah, so Bonnie and Ash have been doing really well, and we're all very happy. We're all full-time, and it just takes, you know, it takes a lot of work. We work every day in the studio, just like a regular job. You know, like, it's like a nine-to-five for us. So every day we're in the studio. Every day we're making new music. Every day we're meeting with management. Every day we're meeting with, like, you know, producers, other artists, always trying to get it down. So I definitely think that we made a name for ourselves, especially as, you know, DC's premier pop group. And now we're just trying to go on to the next level. I can't believe you've done it, because this is what I've realized about myself. I'm a great saver, but I'm an incredible fucking spender. And, like, I've saved all this money from the years of working on the cage show. This might also, this may also, this may also go back to that question as to Sammy, why are you single? Because I refuse to pay a dime on any woman. (laughs) At this point. So you're not dating. I don't even know how to date. I don't even want to do it. Because I look at the other thing. (laughs) I looked at my old bank statements, and I was like, dude, I, I spent know. so much money taking I girls know. out. And I'd buy drinks for girls, shots for girls, and I couldn't even tell you their names. I was going through my phone, I have, like, Rebecca, Pilar, so, so many random phone numbers. Well, at least you spent the money out having fun. I mean, I realized mine was, like, on clothes. Yeah. And now I'm like, great. You know? I mean, what do I have to show for all this? 
<laughs> no, I know. I'm an incredible spender. That's what I've realized. Um, what I'm doing is I'm in New York City. Same thing. If you follow my Twitter, you probably know. But I moved to New York. I'm actually living in Stamford, Connecticut with my uncles until I get the job I want. And I was telling Sammy just before we started doing the interview that um, I'm looking for an agent. I'm pitching my own show to production companies, which has been an amazing experience. And um, I'm going for an audition in January to host a wedding show, which would be really cool. And it's just, it's a really exciting... I, I just have to say, I don't know if you feel this way, but I just know it's going to work out. And I don't know where it's going to happen or what the show is, but I love kind of being in control of my own destiny. And I got and these I butterflies. Think, you got these butterflies in your stomach. You do you get see these now. butterflies. Like, you just know you're really onto it. And I feel it in New York in a way that I just really hadn't felt it, I guess, in a long time. And so I just really think I'm going to have this amazing show. And it would be really cool if some way you're a part of it. If I would you're love not, to be a part of it, by the way. We know that, you know, we'll always be great friends. And um, so it's great. I'm looking for an agent. I've had no luck with agents. You probably have better luck with finding a music agent. But I go in and I have these great interviews with agents. And they're like, awesome. We think you're amazing. You know, you're really talented. But why don't you call us in a year and a half when you're more famous? And I'm like, you're like okay. But I need you to help me be more famous. How is this? But it's. So, I don't know. And I, I had a great interview with Katie Couric's agent. That was really cool. And um, But, you know, it'll all work out. So, I like the hustle. And I think you probably do, too. I like the hustle of making something happen. Yeah. So, and a lot, everybody wanted to know where you can follow us. Are you, do you have a YouTube channel? Do you post? You can find us, Bonnie Rash, B-O-N-N-I-E-R-A-S-H. That's our Instagram, our Twitter, our Facebook, our YouTube, our website, You're, all the shebang. Everything. Everything. everything Bonnie Rash, so you can keep up with me nowadays, so that's mainly where I do all my social networking from. Okay. Where do you think, are we going to do this reunion again? Where do you think we'll be in five years? Where do you Ooh. think I'll be in five years, and I'll tell you where I think you're I going feel to be like now. you're going to be on a private plane somewhere in five <laughs> years, and I will most likely be cleaning out the toilets of that private plane, <laughs> and I will be honored. <laughs> Okay, well, um, I do believe I'll be on a private jet. Which but, is awesome. Um, <laughs> I actually think that the music career is going to do very well. And I think if it isn't your band that goes crazy, I think you're an incredible talent. Well, thank incredible you. Incredible talent. I think that you are destined for huge things. I think you're destined for something you don't even know is out there for you. And I think in The world's years, best fluffer, as we found out, that's what I probably changed my career to. I think in five years you will be on the private plane and I think that you'll be married and incredibly God, happy. Damn, do not tell me. That's such an awful... <laughs> the private plane's cool. The marriage part, rough. Rough. I think you'd be an awesome husband. You are incredibly faithful and a, and a great friend. I do cook and I can make everything from scratch, so I would definitely be a great housewife. I know. And you know, you never know. It might be something with the food thing. Yeah, that'd be great. But I do have to say, I'm I'm thrilled that we are still such great friends. And it I'm was glad to get back. I still get to talk to you on the phone every once in a while. It's awesome. Yeah, and it was an honor to work with you. And um, so, yeah, we have a lot to, awesome. to do. So thanks, guys. Thank you so much for continuing to follow us and support us. I, it means the world to both of us. I know Sammy is so appreciative, and so am I. We can't wait to take you on the private jet. Woo! Get we your shot. Jet mofos. And uh, hopefully we'll be doing both shows, music. You'll be seeing us live. I'll, I'll intro you guys, Bonnie Rash, very uh, soon. Yeah, and we'll be your house band for your talk show. <laughs> At the Grammys. Yeah, but shake that ass. Watch yourself. All right. Bye, guys. Have a wonderful New Year's. Happy, <laughs> Happy 2014. New Year. Bye.